everybody, this is Chad. If you remember from my last video, the yellow tail blue damsel that jumped into my overflow lived there for six months and then jumped back out again. I did a video on that and I just wanted to talk a little more about that particular fish. The yellow tail blue damsel is one of the few damsels that is community oriented. I now have three of them. I purchased two more yesterday. I really love the color. I love the behavior. It's just a, a nice looking fish. They have a glint in their eye from the reflectivity that's underneath it and beautiful scales, nice fin shape, and an interesting uh, darting behavior when they hunt. Uh, just a, a quick forward motion and a stop, a forward motion and a stop. They do get a little, uh, even these peaceful ones, get, they get a little aggressive with each other just like the chromas do. You know, they, they'll chase each other around and they'll try to figure out who's the boss. But unlike other damsels, they give each other some quarter. If it gets too rough and the other fish runs away, they let them. Whereas other damsel species will just continue to go after them, often until the other fish is dead. Uh, an example I want to give is the, the, the three-spot damsel, which is the black damsel with the white spots that you'll see. Looks like a domino. It's a very attractive fish. And I always say that this, this fish is a lie. And the reason is, when you purchase it in the, the pet store, looking pretty like it is, it's a juvenile. And those colors change. That fish will turn brown and really ugly, and its temperament will turn really ugly when it grows up. So people will get these fish thinking that it's this beautiful little fish, and then it turns into a monster. That's unfortunate because damsels are very hardy fish. They're great beginner fish but they turn into fish that discourage people. And so I like to recommend the yellowtail blue damsel because even at its worst, it's a pretty mild fish. They leave the other fish alone. And one of the few damsels that can live in small groups with each other. They need hiding spaces, of course. And I wouldn't recommend having more than three of them in a tank, say, smaller than 75 gallons. If you have a 50 gallon tank, you know, do just one. Now, if you have a pair, male and female, then you could have more than one. Problem is, I've yet to discover how you differentiate the male from the female. There seems to be no sexual dimorphism. I've done research on this, and I've found all sorts of information about the way to sex other damsels, and such as the Fiji devil, or the, the blue devil, but not this particular damsel, so it can be a challenge. But if you know that it's a pair, then they will live happily in a tank that's quite small. So they can be hardy good fish for, say, two of them, a mated pair or two of them in a 10-gallon tank would be just fine. And as you can see how, how beautiful the coloration is, that's a great thing to have in a small tank when you don't have much room for anything else. So just be careful when you purchase damsels that you, you don't get the ones that change color, you don't get the ones that grow ugly, unless you're willing to put up with that. I recommend these fish because they're easy to take care of. They eat just about anything you'll feed them. Actually, they eat anything I feed them. They have not turned their nose up at anything. They're beautiful, and they get along with others, and they're tolerant of changes in water condition. So honestly, if you're looking for a, a beginner fish, the yellowtail blue damsel is a great beginner fish. Thanks for watching, I'll see you guys next time.